Yeah, I want to do my best to try and clear up <laughs> any confusion here that you would understandably be having in terms of your ideas about global warming. How is there global warming if it's 30 below in Chicago right now? Well, let's talk about the polar vortex and some of the things behind it and what are driving it. One of the things you should definitely be aware about, the biggest change happening on this planet in terms of global warming is happening at the North Pole, and here's an example of that. This is what permanent sea ice looked like on the North Pole in 1980. Now I'm going to show you what permanent sea ice looks like today. There's been a drastic change happening up here. And while global warming is certainly warming the planet as a whole, on average about 1.8 degrees for the whole planet, it's a different story at the North Pole. More than twice that amount has happened up here. This is really the front lines for where global warming is happening. Now that starts to impact weather across the globe. And the polar vortex is an example of that. What typically drives the polar vortex, those fast moving winds that encircle the North Pole, same thing with the jet stream, is the fact that there's a huge difference in temperatures. It's a lot colder up here, a lot warmer down here. And where you get the convergence of those two different temperatures, that's where you find the jet stream or the polar vortex. The problem is, if we don't have as big a difference anymore, if it's a lot warmer up here than it used to be, these winds are going to start slowing down. And that's what's already started happening. And when they start slowing down, they start doing weird patterns, like dripping and drooping down into the mid-latitudes. And there is some science behind this. The polar vortex has weakened over the past three decades. And cold surface air is now more likely to move into the middle latitudes. That is from a paper that was published in the journal Nature two years ago. So there is a lot of science behind this. It's not a sealed case, but <laughs> the fact that it is 30 below in Chicago oh. does not mean global warming isn't happening. In fact, there's much more reason to believe that it's the change in the global patterns that keep doing this a little more often than we used to see. Right. I guess you could almost make the argument that it could dip down. This time it was Chicago, but that dip could happen almost anywhere in the country. It wouldn't happen to us okay. because we've got the Rockies blocking us. So there's nothing in between Minneapolis and the North Pole but a couple of barbed wire fences in Canada, right? And those <laughs> things have already blown down. So all that cold air has a direct shot for right. the Midwest. Okay. Here in Seattle, the reason why our winters aren't as brutal as our friends back there in general is because we have the Rocky Mountains and then the Cascades protecting us from all that cold air. So we wouldn't get hit with the Arctic. We've got our gray oh. and dreary days and we'll gladly take them. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Right. <laughs> right. Darren, thank Good you. Job. That was a that's that's awesome. great way of explaining cool. all of that. Yeah. Thank you.